Okay, so, uh, we're in After Effects now to do our final composite. Um, uh, we have our clip and our image. Bring this in and the image and making sure that we're on frame one I'll go and paste in our corner pin data okay and then just line this up because After Effects doesn't do that for us so move the corner pin and then up uh, fine tune this now okay so we've only got it uh, fixed to one corner. The rest of this is a little bit off. So we'll go ahead and fix that. Uh, I'll first uh, create a pre comp, layer pre compose, and then call this warp. Leave all attributes and player on tracking. Okay. Go into our warp composition. Set the com viewer to planar tracking. Lock this. Create new com viewer. And set this to warp. All right. So what we need is a Bezier warp. And this will warp our image so that it fits correctly. And lower the opacity so we can see better. Then grabbing our Bezier warp we'll just start warping away um, line up these letters here Okay, go over to the other side. Let's warp this. There's this little sign. I'm going to match that up. Let's focus on the middle now. Okay. We need to compensate on this side. Alright, that about works.
See if we can get the corner. Let's get the corner close. A little adjustment that way. A little adjustment that way. Corner's a little bit off, but oh well. Okay, that fits over there. Let's see if I say anything off this direction. Okay. That works, that works. The top isn't quite right. But it's close. It's close. So now what I want to do is create a mask. Create a couple of masks actually. Create one here. Set it to subtract. Uh, feather it. Okay. Uh, create one along the top. That's good. And I'll add some feather to this one also. And just hit F. Uh, set it to subtract. Okay. And then on the side here. Feather this one. Subtract. Okay. So that's all working now. And so we can go back to our main comp. Uh, set this back. Fit. Oh, and want the opacity. Alright. And It all works now. Uh, well, one other thing we need to do is uh, keyframe the exposure or the brightness because um, 
the brightness changes throughout the shot. So, exposure. There's our exposure. Okay, uh, set a keyframe right there, and move to the end. Adjust the exposure down like that. look for the edge, it's a little too dark, so... And then go to the quarter mark. Right about there. Darken this. Okay. And then just, I'm just going to keep going by uh, splitting the distance. Okay, this needs to be brightened. Let's look at our keyframes. Okay. This needs to be just slightly brighter. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Now, 
I'll just go to fit and yeah I think our text might be uh, uh, a little out of perspective so I could go back and fix that if I wanted to yeah but I think I'll just leave it like that okay now the last thing is just to check motion bar and we also need to enable it for the clip so turn it on there and now we're ready to add to our render queue okay well thank you for uh, this is the end of the tutorial so thank you for watching and I hope you'll check out uh, some more of my videos.